I bought a few things off screen and now we have one dollar. Good start for this episode. Anyway, welcome back to the Ultimate Decades Challenge. We are in year five, episode five. This is 1334. And she's already vomiting from her pregnancy, so that's exciting. I mean, not the vomiting, but the pregnancy is. So we're finally pregnant again. I, we haven't gotten the notification, but I kind of used, I used MCC commands at our last episode to check if she was pregnant, and she is. And it's twins, so it's gonna be an exciting episode. But all that put aside, we got to send Wyatt off to fish and collect because we have one singular simoleon. I wonder if I should be breeding these frogs instead of just selling them. But ain't nobody got time for that. I almost forgot we have chickens. <laughs> I would have totally forgotten to come out here and check on them. Let's clean the coop and collect the eggs. That'll be your job, Wyatt. Your wife is slaving away over this stupid bug spraying that takes literally all day. Seriously though, does it bother anybody else that it takes so long for them to spray the bugs? <laughs> okay, Agnes Crumblebottom has sent me a message asking to join her art club. I'm sorry, but first of all, cell phones don't exist. And second of all, what? <laughs> oh, we got a hatchable egg. Let's put that in there so we can grow our farm. He's back from foraging. What did we find? We found some spinach, some potato, and some seeds. Okay. Let's put them in the... In the uh, what is this called again? Oh, a larder. Oh my god, shut up. Put this thing on mute. It's been kind of a boring and uneventful day today, so I'm having them both take a nap so we can go to the pub tonight. Actually, instead of the pub, I actually put this church into the town. So let's go to the church. Um, I don't have all of the things I want to put in the church, like actual church CC, like a pulpit and stuff, but it's still a cool place to, it's still a cool place to visit. It's a pretty cool looking building. I didn't build it myself, um, but it is pretty neat. Isn't this so cute? Like I said, I'm gonna download a few more things and change some stuff to make it a lo look a little bit more old and just a little bit, um, just have a little bit more function. Brantley's here. I think we should build a relationship with Brantley. I mean, we kind of already have a, like, kind of a relationship, but I want, like, I want to be up, besties dude? with Brantley. Huh, He's our guy. This is Brantley's wife, Sophia. He's a member of the Congregation of Non-Believers. She's a non-believer! Um, Gladys seems to have found an interesting conversation with this knight statue. Suit of armor. Just recently downloaded the vampire pack and oh my god, these things are so gorgeous. I love these statues. Speaking of vampires, can y'all leave? I should- I forgot to delete them out of the world. I just gave Agnes a shroom. <laughs> How do you solve a problem like Maria? Look at me. I want to take a picture of you. You brat. Should I evangelize? She's gonna go tell her hubby. Hey, I'm pregnant again. All right, let's head out. We're getting tired for realsies. You know, I just got this pop-up that she's having a mood swing, pl angry plus 50. And then I remember, I forgot that they're both 17 years old right now. <laughs> so I'm not surprised. I know, I know, girl, it gets better. I promise, I promise it gets better. Okay, now we're starting to get a few more options for food. We can make pottage, onion soup, potato and onion soup, or a fowl hot pot. Let's do a fowl hot pot. That sounds exciting. That's probably meant for more than two people, but I'm excited about having extra options, so we're gonna ball out today. Delightful. The eggie is ready to hatch. Let's do it 
Right now, right now, right now. Literally sprint out here, Gleta. I want to see this baby chick. Get out of the bath. Who cares about the bath? I want to see the chick. Who cares about your bladder? Let's go. Move it, move it, move it. Oh! It glitched out, but that was cute while it lasted. Where the hell did the chick go? She's having bladder failure because I prioritized this chick. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. Oh my god. Can I name him? Nugget? Okay. I just realized I didn't name these chickens either. Taco? I don't think tacos or nuggets existed, but frankly, I don't care. Amelia. Cute. Taco, Nugget, and Amelia. Don't comment on how the names are not realistic for the time, okay? These names are for me. I don't even think medieval people would have named their chickens. Why are you so sad? Oh. Hey, stop it! Are we about to spend all our money on food? Yes. Follow for more relatable tweets. I can complain about my love life to my husband. I'm tempted to do that. Instead, I'll just become best friends forever. He's serenading her. That's so cute. And now they're best friends forever. I kind of like the idea of them like being like childhood friends and then falling in love. Just the squad fishing. Fishing with the gals, you know what I mean? Oh my god, he just- he just caught an iPad. Jeez. I'm gonna start trying to save our money a little bit better so that when the, uh, babies that we have grow up into toddlers and children, we can afford beds for them and more space. I'm gonna expand the house, um, and add another room so that we have a separate kitchen and bedroom and maybe even, like, a tiny little bathroom area. So, I think- Although we'll still spend money a little bit, I, I'm gonna start saving money um, a little bit better than I am right now. Oh, the mayor's Boy. here. Let's go talk to the mayor. Vimbo Pomeray Moochie Peachy. Quimble Reginu. Oh, Sponsor. Oh, okay, Vlad and the mayor are now fighting inside my home. Um, we're just, we've just had gone to bed and we're pretending it's not happening. It's just a fever dream. I remember inviting you into my house, Vlad. I thought vampires had to be invited in. Well, they're just best buddies now, aren't they? It's also not realistic to even have a mayor because um, medieval peasant towns didn't have mayors. They were ruled by a lord who would like lord over all the village they did have reeves though um reeves were kind of like the head of the peasants they were like the earliest form of sheriffs so i guess i guess it's kind of a form of a mayor right it's kind of like a mayor <laughs> what <laughs> oh my god he's playing with the chicken oh we got another hatchable egg to throw in there Oh, uh, the chicken didn't like that. Do you feel mocked by that, Amelia? Oh my god, look at that chick back there. Oh, look at him go! You're doing great, sweetie. Watson came to fish with us. He's dazed. He might be drunk. Oh, no. Every time. It's bedtime, but I know she's gonna pop soon, and I just don't know if I'm ready to send her to bed. It's gonna be- it's gonna be time- it's gonna be go time. Who am I kidding? I want to speed up the process as fast as possible. Let's go! Here we go! Oh, I got we in labor, baby! Okay, we already know it's twin boys, but I did pick out the names. The first one I want to be Wyatt. The second. The second is going to be Arthur. Arthur Rivers. <gasps> And here they are, they're glitched through the wall, but we can fix that, just give me a second. Much better! Also, kind of try to ignore the, um, teddy bears. I had issues with this mod before, so we're just gonna have to deal with the teddy bears, even though they're unrealistic, until I feel comfortable deleting them again. Because I will lose the bassinet if I delete them. 
Like, I will not know where I put it. And last time I had to uninstall and reinstall the mod a million billion times to, to get rid of the invisible bassinets that I accidentally scattered all over my floor. Oh crap, I forgot. We have to roll for mortality. Why? Stop giving that baby a bottle also. That's not accurate. Well, we're gonna put the D20 over his head so we can't see that. So, the first roll is for Gletta. If we roll a one, she dies. Any other roll, she survives childbirth. Cool. Survives. All right. Second roll is for White the second. Remember, any one, five, 10, 15, or 20 for a newborn baby here, um, they do not survive. So this is for Wyatt, the first twin. He survives, awesome. And this one's for Arthur, the second twin. Also survives, all right, cool. We kept both the babies this time around. Yeesh, oh, Maparu. Ah, no, oh God, Ooh. what? It where did you put the baby? <sighs> Sir? Oh god. I couldn't see it. Oh god. She won't bathe in the same room as the baby. Uh, okay, we do need to add on. But for now, I'm just gonna stick this outside and we can add on the next episode. So she won't take a bath in the same room as the baby, but will she <laughs> woohoo? Because I'm trying to conceive immediately after that. Oh, okay, so they'll <laughs> conceive a child next to their babies, but they won't take a bath. That makes sense, Sims. Good job. Well, I think that is where I'm going to leave off for this episode. Um, the day-to-day -day life stuff was kind of boring, kind of, you know, just... We're just trying to get our money up so we can expand this house. But I was really just looking forward to this part of the episode, having the babies and they both survived and Gladys survived. So now we have baby Wyatt Jr. or Wyatt the second and uh, Arthur. And we've just tried for another baby. So we have no idea what the, that will be until we come back next episode. But thank you for watching and um, see you next time.